Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Talks Trading. My name is Sky and I'm on a quest to invest. Today's video is all about SoFi stock. Let's get straight into it because yeah, we're down 14.11% over the past five days and people, quite frankly, are starting to... But something important to keep in mind is that the entire fintech vertical is, you know, being pushed down in unison. Uh, you know, if you take a look at SQ, LC, PYPL this morning, all down pre-market. If you are long, just walk away, come back later, stop watching every tick. You know, there's a saying, if you want to be rich, don't flinch. I love sayings that rhyme. So, you know, if you're working, get back to work after you finish this video, of course. If you're a student, just keep studying. I'm pretty sure there's exams coming up. If you have a dog, take your dog for a walk, get out, get some fresh air. So far, it will be fine in the long term. Video over. No, I'm kidding. Let's talk a little bit more about it though, because uh, I, I want to give you a little bit more reassurance, even though I'm not a financial investor. What? I am a financial investor. I'm not a financial advisor. So I, you know, I think 2022, I mean, let's take a look at all the things that we've got going on in 2022 for SoFi. But I just want to say that this board is reminding a lot of people of the Tesla board back in 2017 to 2019. You know, so many short attacks, but I think we all know who, who won in the long run, right? Tesla. So SoFi will ultimately win. Why? Because we have the management and the growth. 200,000 downloads in the month of November. And, you know, watch them knock it out of the park this month too with regards to downloads. And that's only going to be growing. And then when it comes to 2022, you've got, of course, the bank charter. This will increase new member conversions, increase adoption by current members, and increase SoFi profitability. The bank charter is a matter of when, not if, and it is definitely coming. Don't listen to the FUD uh, people saying, no, it's just a rumor. It's definitely coming. Uh, SoFi was removed from the CRA list this week. This can be a sign that the bank charter announcement is coming soon. Lending Club got their bank charter um, on the, tw the 31st of December last year. And then if we talk about student loans, everyone's favorite topic, student loan over volume is running below 50%. Fed's pause on student loan payments ends in January 31st of 2022. So, you know, look for demand to return. The student loan repayment process technically starts back up in the new year. And then the buy now, pay later feature you know, they might be launching that in the app, the BNPL products. That'll be huge. And then, of course, the Super Bowl 2022. SoFi is front and center at the brand awareness event of the year. It is the biggest sports event of the year. And Galileo will complete its transition to the cloud. You know, I can't stress this enough. 2022 will be the year of new product rollouts. Warrants will be completed and Spacness is behind us. Also, the Pagaya partnership will increase product sales and it will accelerate as Pagaya products expand. Then there will be increased yield on SoFi money with the Fed tightening. So, you know, look for SoFi money interest rates to increase. SoFi Singapore is also coming. And then, of course, the most requested feature, that is the most requested investing feature on SoFi, options trading. Options trading is coming and that will also be huge. Also, margin investing, which is already available in SoFi Hong Kong. And of course, it will be coming to the US. Then, of course, SoFi Stadium, continued reopening, event growth will fuel brand awareness. Pre-market after hours trading will also launch Active Invest, which again is already available in SoFi Hong Kong. IPO investing. And this will definitely increase member base and increase SoFi awareness. SoFi ETFs, new SoFi ETFs are in the works. Uh, and then finally, tax solution. SoFi has conducted extensive member surveys on tax filing. And CEO Noto says SoFi should offer taxes. You know, maybe 2022 will be the year that that happens. So as we can see, the future is very, very bright for SoFi. We're still up 17.30% year to date. I wouldn't really worry about this little 
dip. If you're long on SoFi, either do nothing, don't flinch if you want to get rich, or you can, you know, dollar cost average your way in, ladder your way back in. Buying the dip is the trick. I just came up with that one right there. That is all for today, guys. Just a little SoFi video for you. Let me know how you're feeling down in the comments below. Thank you so much for listening and I will talk to you guys very soon. Have a great day.